The history of the US dollar began with the Coinage Act of 1792, following the failure of the transitional currency, the Continental, that took the nation along from independence. Up until then, the silver-based Spanish peso had been the most widely used currency across the Americas, following the Spanish invasion some 200 years earlier. The United States Mint, which also has its roots in the Coinage Act, was created to produce and circulate the US dollar across the Union and convert any other recognized currency into the new unit of account. The dollar was milled with an agreed amount of gold and silver, which gave the currency a standard by which it could be valued. This standard gave it a reason to be adopted. But it was not until the National Banking Act of 1863, in the midst of the American Civil War, did the US dollar become the sole currency of the United States. Despite the adoption of the new US dollar, the British pound retained its status as the most widely used currency around the world until the end of the 19th century. By 1900, and the passing of the Gold Standard Act, the US dollar had seen its silver content diminish completely and gold was the only precious metal that was added to the metallic mix. The gold standard meant too that the value of the currency in circulation was backed by gold in storage. This gold standard helped the US currency gain global traction. And under the Bretton Woods system of monetary management adopted after the end of the Second World War, all other currencies were valued in terms of the US dollar and so could be compared directly to the gold standard. However, as the price of gold rose, the gold standard for the dollar became increasingly difficult to manage. The Banking Act of 1933 revoked the promise to pay the bearer on demand the face value of currency in gold and in 1971, Richard Nixon, the then president, unilaterally decided to order the cancellation of convertibility of the US dollar to bullion. Because the dollar is no longer backed by a physical asset, instead by the US Constitution's full faith and credit of the US government, critics say that this detracts from its attractiveness as a haven and makes it no better than any other currency from a developed nation. However, despite this, the US dollar has continued to be a global reserve currency. Since the start of the euro in 1999, global dollar reserves remain at around two-thirds of total reserves held, and as such helps to maintain its status as a currency benchmark.